Welcome, welcome, Be Holy, Be Perfect community. Thank you for tuning in. What a wonderful time it is in the Lord our God, knowing that all his promises are true and they are now and now and now for us. And so we say, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, bless the Lord. Forget not all his benefits, his promises, which do what? Heal all my diseases and relieve me of all my distresses. Deliver me from all my distresses. So I say to you today, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. We continue to study barriers to holiness, barrier to being barriers to being perfect. And this is part six and part six concept is societal labels or roles, Soci societal labors or roles. And we're still, yes, talking about identity distortion disorder as a identity distortion disorder. We will conform, we will conform to societal labors, labels, and roles. Now, what do that mean when we conform to societal labors, labels, and roles? That means that we take on the identity of the world, uh, the society that is around us. Now, whether it's a godly uh society or uh, ungodly society, we will take on those labors. We will take on those roles. Now, a label is like uh, we all have to uh, go uh, to a uh, Bible study with a certain fellowship. And if we don't go with a certain fellowship, then we have fallen from the faith or we have backslidden or something like that. That is kind of a societal role. When you fall within a group or a different congregation, they begin to have societal label and roles. Another uh, societal labor is a person uh, that, um, help me Lord God, uh, societal uh, label is to be um, have a political certain political view, and if you have a certain political view, that means you believe this and don't believe that. Uh, one role of a uh, society is that you can be whatever you want to be, and you can do whatever you want to do, and that is a role that people take up if they are not. Uh, under the leadership and government of 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 God, under the leadership and government of Jesus, the Anointed One. Now, we we uh, sometimes have uh, trouble uh, with this because we believe that we can live within the world and not be affected or touched, touched or contaminated or polluted by the world, and that is just. Not so. And that's why the Lord tell us that, okay, you can live in the world, but you need to be in a community that is conducive and is submissive and governed by the rule of God. Now, we know that in the world that we live in today, uh, there are the communities or what we call diverse. And so it could be anybody, anything, believe me, whatever in uh, the community in which you live. That is not a community that uh, God uh, developed for us, but this is where we are. Colossians 3, 9, do not lie to one another for you have stripped off the old self with this evil practices. And the Lord tell us here, the old self, before we come to God, before we uh, take uh, Jesus, uh, the anointed one who saves us from these evil old self and its evil practices that we have stripped that off. It should no longer be a part of us. Uh, Colossians 3.10 and have put on the new spiritual self who is being continually renewed in true knowledge in the image of him who created the new self. See, Christ create a new self, the anointed save, the anointed to save, which is Christ, uh, create us, create in us a new self. The old has passed away, behold, 
all things have become new. If we do not believe that we become new, then there is no way that we can become new. We must first be fully persuaded that the word of God will do what it say it will do. Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world any longer without with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually, mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focuses on godly values and ethical attitude. Focusing, what should we be focused on? Godly values, being set apart, holiness, and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove yourself what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect, good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you, for me, for you. So what he is saying here as we receive the word of God, that our attitude, our hope, our focus should be on godly values and ethical um, attitudes. We should have a godly attitude. We should have a wholesome, holy attitude attitude. And that attitude was what? The attitude of uh, the holy attitude uh, that is mature, growing into maturity, uh, will prove, it will prove for ourselves, it will prove unto God the will of God in our life. That which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan, in his will. So the only way that we can prove what is acceptable, what is good and perfect in the plan of God and purpose for our life is to do what? It is to focus on the godly and ethical, godly values and ethical attitudes. That means that we must, we must live out these values. We must leave, live out these values and we must leave, leave, depart from the societal labels and roles that are a broken and fallen world have established for us. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The world is broken. And if we uh, focus on the world and its brokenness, then our minds will be impacted by that. Our minds, our heart, our entire being will be impacted by that. So let us focus on the labels that God has given us. Now, what? Are some of the societal labels and roles that the Lord has given us. In 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7, he said, For God has not called us to what? Impurity, to pollution, to contamination, to perverseness, to fornication, to adultery, to uh, overeating, to gluttony, all these things, but to holiness, to be dedicated and set apart by what? By behavior that please him. Please him who? Please God. Whether in public or in privacy, we have a tendency, a tendency, a trendency where we uh, act like we are, are holy in a public place. But when we get home and close the doors, the people that live us know, oh no, she is totally uh not holy and not nowhere n and nowhere near holy why because our behavior is unholy and is not dedicated and set apart to god uh she's having one of her tantric times and her control freak uh episodes so here we see that what we do in public and what we do in private should be basically what the same and what is that that we should what be holy uh be be holy to be dedicated and set apart by our behavior that please God. So we can have a behavior, a religious behavior of what we think please the different congregations that we attend. However, it may not please God. So the what? The moral of the story, the moral of the teaching is to know what pleases God and know to whom and to 
by whom we should be dedicated. We should be dedicated what? We should be dedicated and set apart by our behavior, not just by words, not just by singing, but by our behavior, our lifestyles, our actions, our words, our conversation, our mental thoughts, and all these things should be dedicated. He's saying dedicated, dedicated, committed, 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 dedicated and set apart. Now, that is saying, and that is the definition of holy. That is the definition of holy. Holy. See, holiness is not just about words. Holiness is about behavior. And so the societal labels that God has put on us is one of them is holy. The other one is to be set apart, which is a part of the definition of holy. One other label that he has put on us, he say, be ye perfect for your father in heaven is perfect. The next label that he put on us is the role that we should play. play. There is a label, there are, are, are roles. And what are some of the roles? We should be disciples. That's a role of a person that is under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. We should be teachable. We should be teachers. We should be what? Filled with the Holy Spirit of God. We should be what? Baptized in water. Baptized in the Holy Spirit. Baptized into his death. Baptized into his yes. Resurrection. Yes. Resurrection. We can rise out of the water, but that don't mean that we was resurrected out of the water. We must be resurrected according to the power and the what? The uh distribution of what God has in his resurrection power. So as we see here, it takes more than just talking about what the word of God says. We must do what the word of God says, and we must understand that it is not even coming to the point that we must be accepted to God. Yes, acceptable to God and pleasing to God. That is the societal label in the kingdom of God. And that is the role that we play. And that is what? Being acceptable and pleasing to the most high. Uh, And we must live out that role in our behavior. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he keep you from stumbling and falling because he will present you what? Faultless and blameless before God our King. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord.